another hurricane, Hurricane Franklin, already churning out in the Atlantic, mm -hmm. likely to cause some rough surf conditions along the southeastern U.S. coast. Yeah, Steph, what exactly is going on in the tropics and how is it going to affect us all the way over here? Yeah, there is a lot going on, which is typical for this time of the year. We're approaching the peak of hurricane season, which for the Atlantic Basin, including the Atlantic, the Caribbean Sea, and the Gulf of Mexico, that tends to be September 10th. So let's start out with some areas of interest that are way out into the Atlantic. There's this cluster of thunderstorms in the central Atlantic has a low chance of formation over the next seven days. Another wave coming off the coast of Africa that has a moderate chance of development, but again, this is two, 3,000 miles away, and it looks like it would already be moving on a northwesterly track if it were to continue developing. Uh, so not a problem for us. Our attention goes to the two hurricanes brewing in the Atlantic. Hurricane Franklin, now a Category 4 monster that's going to make a very close pass to Bermuda. They're under tropical storm watches there as the storm kind of uh, circles around them. Bermuda's right here, by the way. And our attention on what is now Hurricane Idalia, named at the uh, advisory at 4 a.m. this morning. And it's starting to look a lot better here on the radar and on the satellite presentation, too. More of that counterclockwise spin to the storm. So this storm is entering the Gulf today. It's expected to do something called rapid intensification, where it quickly goes from a Category 1 to a Category 3. As it approaches the Big Bend of Florida, eventually it will then leak weaken to a lower end Cat 1 hurricane and eventually a tropical storm as it brushes the southeast coastline. So a lot is going to be happening today. As we watch the storm approach the Sunshine State, hurricane warnings extending from about uh, Apalachicola, Port St. Joe, down through Tampa Bay and just a bit south of there. As folks keep a close eye on what happens with Idalia because very small changes to the forecast can mean huge changes in the impacts felt and where they are felt. So Floridians definitely uh, being mindful of this forecast. Maximum sustained winds 75 miles per hour right now. By the time this makes landfall, probably going to be a lot closer to 120 miles per hour. So how does that impact us? Well, you have to think of the Gulf of Mexico like a pool. When you have some kids doing cannonballs in the deep end, if you're sitting on the steps there in the shallow end, you're still going to feel that wave in the pool. So for us here, we'll still have local impacts like a high rip current risk today into tomorrow. Swells and high tides, especially kind of timing up with that full moon we have going into uh, Wednesday and eventually Thursday. Dry northerly flow will keep uh, generally light winds by our standards, 8 to 18 miles per hour, dropping our dew points and our humidity, but it's still going to feel hot despite that low or humidity. So that's what we're expecting here locally. For all the latest hurricane tips, ChrisTV.com slash hurricane. It's even where you can find our hurricane special from earlier this summer. Conditions now feeling warm. 77 in Beeville, 82 in Corpus Christi, 85 at Naval Air Station, Corpus Christi. And that humidity is packing on strong. But this afternoon, we have no heat alerts on deck. We're going to stay below those heat advisory thresholds today, but still feeling hot. 100 in Corpus Christi by 9 a.m. By 2 p.m. feeling like 110, but it won't last last for two hours or longer, so we're on the better end of that. We could also see a few stray showers making their way through our forecast, say by the afternoon hours, the heat of the day, uh, just creating a few little pop up showers, maybe a rumble of thunder, but we're generally heading in a drier direction as we make our way through this week and approaching the Labor Day Monday holiday. By then, our highs will top out in the middle 90s.